Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. What is being just my share? So for today's video, we're gonna be doing a reaction video. But first of all, I want to tell you guys, please, please, please excuse my voice. It sounds like I'm getting a cold, but I don't feel sick. And I don't know what's going on, but before we get started, if you're new here, my name is Justlan. Hit the subscribe button down below so you can get notified every single time I upload a new video. Do not forget to follow me on my social media platforms, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and TikTok. The links will be in the description box down below for your convenience. So today's reaction, we're going to be reacting to Cardi B, allegedly expecting baby number two, Megan The Stallion, and her quick hiatus, and JT versus The Fan. But before we get started, like I said, do not forget to subscribe. I really appreciate it and yeah, let's get started. Hello everybody, welcome to the Internet Channel. There are a few topics I want to talk about in this video. First, starting with Megan Thee Stallion. Now, Megan Thee Stallion recently announced that she's no longer on hiatus. For the past few weeks, her team has been posting for her. She took a break from social media, but now she's back and she recently announced that she's releasing a new single this Friday called Thought-ish. Now, I'm gonna be honest. When I saw the title of this song and I saw the cover, I was a little bit disappointed because I feel like she's gonna give us the same thing that we've seen from her before. Megan talks a lot about sex in her music. She Yeah, she, she always talks about sex. Promotes the whole hot girl, thought girl stuff. And I was just hoping that she would take a different direction this time because same i thought that you know her next song would be something a bit different you know but about always you know thoughts and you know you know hot girl stuff you know i think she should try something different this is her time to show people that she does have some versatility she can talk about other things mm -hmm. i think megan has too much talent and potential to keep herself in this same box same. and i noticed that megan is trying to recreate the whole tina snow era her fans love the tina snow mixtape because it was less about the sex and more so about her attitude exactly exactly she gave an aura of confidence she was bold she was raw she was gangsta and she had sex appeal without overdoing it mm -hmm. and i think if she's going to recreate that era she should bring the same energy Period. right now <laughs> But I tell you something about the impressive channel. <laughs> they will say how they feel, period. She should bring the same energy, okay? We've been getting the same thing from her. But I do hope that as Megan enters this new era in music, she will try to evolve a little bit more. And I'm thinking about the tweet that this rapper named Mia X put out. If you don't know, Mia X is a talented veteran in the game. She was actually on the label No Limit. And she tweeted this. I'm not disrespecting no bras who rap about their pee because in 1992 I released a song The Payback and talked my stuff. However, I do encourage lady MCs to be versatile with their subject matter because we not effing 24-7 my babies. <laughs> and I agree with her. I do think it's very important to have yeah. some versatility. And this doesn't only go for the female rappers, it goes for the male rappers too. Yes. There needs to be more variety all around. But I do kind of blame the music industry for pushing certain messages instead of making room for other lyricists. But we gotta be honest, right? In today's era, like, what sells more is sex. That's just a plain fact. Um, look at OnlyFans, right? Even though people are not just sexual on there, but most of the time, what are they doing? showing the body and stuff like that and you see all the money people were making and still are making on OnlyFans. one thing that always sells more is sex so i feel like that's probably why she always talks about it because she realized that that's one thing that sells more but um i do think um is also the whole community in general because with the guys it's always about sex you know beaten you know i don't want to say the whole word it's all about peace it's all about to talk about violence all that so most of the time the first thing all you will see the rapper or people in the music industry push forth is sex because I feel like that's one thing that sells in this whole era and that's a fact right so probably that's why but I do think she should you know try something in and there are a lot of talented rappers out there who rap about other things but they're not getting the support mm -hmm. that's the issue so I put more of the responsibility on these labels and the whole industry yeah but 
I do think artists like Megan Thee Stallion have the talent to rap about something more than just sex. Mm -hmm. And the reason why I say this is because I've heard her freestyle. So I do think she has the ability to give us something different. I agree. Now on to the next topic. There have been some rumors floating Cardi around B. that Cardi B is expecting her second child. Now, I don't know if this is true or not. These are rumors. And Cardi herself has not confirmed anything. I saw the Neighborhood Talk make a post about it, but they did delete this post. So at this point, it's just an unconfirmed rumor. And I'm not saying that we should believe it. And even if it's the case, even if it's the case, she's grown. She got her issues together. She she can have five more kids if she wants to, you know. So either way, I don't think it's a bad thing. I think kids are beautiful. Shoot, shoot. Look at the way she enjoys her her daughter. Like, however, if she is pregnant, I wouldn't be surprised because I do remember earlier this year when she performed at the Grammys, she did look a little pregnant and she did move a little sluggish. And I also noticed she has been keeping a low profile on social media as well. So it wouldn't be completely unreasonable to speculate that she might be pregnant. But once again, we don't know that. I see that. It definitely looks like a baby bump. Right there. But then again, she might have gained weight, you know. She might be out of breath already. That's why she was moving a bit slow. You don't know. To be true. But hypothetically speaking, if she is pregnant, I would think that she probably would wait to announce it around the time her husband Offset is dropping an album with his group The Migos because The Migos are releasing a new album this Friday. So if Cardi were to announce that she's pregnant and on top of that announce that she had a single with The Migos, that would actually help The Migos out a lot. That yeah. would be a great marketing strategy because The Migos have been very cold so they need all the promotion they can get <laughs> and cardi is probably the one person who can really help them for sure but this is just a little thought of mine i could be very wrong and if it comes out that she's not pregnant forget everything i just said okay <laughs> <laughs> now i do want to talk a little bit more about some new music the artist justine sky is actually releasing her album space and time on june 25th and Justine made some pretty interesting tweets that caught a lot of attention on the blogs. She said this, Y'all be hyping up mediocre stuff and then be mad about the state of music these days. Take responsibility. Mm. Say whatever you want about me and my music. Okay. This album about to shut all that talk up. I have a whole Timberland produced album with a Justin Timberlake feature and I'm completely independent. I'm clearly doing something right. I know that's right. Whether I made music or not, my statement was true, but my music is on the way. So if you want to hate on it, do so on June 25th, please. All right. Okay, Justine, you better talk your talk now. Right, she's talking her talk. Like, she has a little confidence in what she's saying. She's probably going to drop some fire. Now, I don't see anything wrong with what she said either. I do think the music industry needs a little shake-up right now. And I have a feeling that it will shake up a little bit. Beyonce said she was working on new music. It was rumored that Rihanna might possibly drop this year, but I wouldn't hold my breath on that. Also, Doja Cat is dropping a new album. Normani is releasing a new single. SZA and Kendrick Lamar might possibly release an album this year as well. Wow. Drake definitely might drop his album. Nicki Minaj also has an album in the works, and she also has a song coming out with Polo G on Friday called For the Love of New York. So the music industry is definitely going to start shaking up. Justine herself is confident that her album is going to get some buzz, and she's doing all of this independently. So I'm definitely going to support her. She has two singles out, one called Intruded and another one called Twisted Fantasy featuring the artist Rema and I like the whole afro futuristic vibe that she's been going for with her visuals I think it's great that she's sticking to a concept and I can't wait to see what the rest of her album sounds like now on to the last topic I want to talk about the rapper JT from the city girls over the weekend JT got put on blast by one of her fans for being rude and this is not the first time that JT has been called out for being rude to some of her fans. Mm -hmm. A few months ago, she was dragged for blocking one of her fans who had cancer. And recently, she got into another situation with one of her fans. It's on site actually reposted this. One of her fans... Like, some of these people need to know that, you know, 
you know, sometimes, of course, you know, we all have feelings, right? But sometimes there's no point of answering, you know? There's no point of going back and forth with your fans. Just keep it pushing. It's not every beef that deserves a reply. That's what I mean. Like, not every action deserves a reaction, you know? And show JT love by recreating one of her outfits. And the friend of the fan actually sent this to JT and said, all you got to do is repost it. And she put a crying face and a heart emoji. And JT replied and said, I already did. And I'm not doing it again. Leave me alone. <laughs> now, the girl who sent this to JT put JT on blast and said this on Twitter. So my 18 year old friend made a dress JT inspired. All she wanted her to do is repost it. And this was her response. And no, she never did repost because Instagram would have said she did. Just rude as F. Now, mm. when the blogs picked this tweet up, JT snapped. She completely snapped. And honestly, I think JT should have ignored all of this because... Exactly. It didn't really require the type of reaction that she gave it. But one thing about JT is she's going to respond to everything. She posted and deleted these posts on Instagram. I'm not going to read what she said verbatim in this post, but she basically cussed out the girl who put her on blast and she doubled down and said that she already reposted that picture of her friend. JT also said this, I want each and every one of y'all pathetic selves who sit around picking with me for a reaction and to make the blogs to leave me alone. Y'all are not fans, y'all are clout chasers looking for viral moments. She also said in her caption, I don't have to get the assignment, do it for y'all. Be it, fit in, hold my tongue. Bees be like, I really don't like her. So what, B? I don't like y'all either. I deleted Twitter to get out of y'all way and y'all still use my name for a mention. It's getting sad. Y'all know I'ma curse y'all out when I feel attacked. So y'all attack me, then call me rude. I'm not rude. I don't directly bother y'all. What the F, go ahead. JT also went on a rant about this situation on IG Live. This is what she said. I always repost people who recreate their dress. I've been reposted there, little girl. I ain't gotta do it no more. And I said what I said. And that was like the 15th month. Oh, all you gotta do is post it. For what? To make you look poppy? Y'all need to stop chasing that clout and just do it. Do y'all. Everybody wanna be somebody. It's just like, leave me alone. Go go do some real work, groundwork. Stop motherfucking getting mad at celebrities all the time for stupid shit. Then y'all always saying, be humble. I know about to lie, this, this, this life didn't help. It didn't help at all. It didn't. Mm -mm. I gotta be humble to make you bitches comfortable. I don't even barely talk. JT need to humble herself. Hmm? I will probably never be like in, in this field because to the people that's up there, I'm too ghetto. And to the people that's hood, I'm not hood enough no more because I'm elevating. So what? Kiss my ass. I'm going to wear what I'm going to wear. I'm going to fuck I'm going to say what I'm going to fucking say. If you don't motherfucking like it, just ignore it. And it be your own motherfucking time. That's what you should have done. You should have ignored it. Like, what? I be clicking on y'all hoes page sometimes, and y'all just going to be having no motherfucking room. And that's the top of y'all motherfucking synthetic lace week to the bottom of y'all McDonald's greasy rainbow motherfucking shoes be having a nerve to be talk about somebody and don't be having no motherfucking room and they be trying to y'all want to see a down bad so bad how she even still got fans how she even da, 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 like jealous hearty jt said a lot more in that video but i had to cut it off there Child. honestly i think jt doesn't know how to handle fame that well i think she gave this situation way too much energy exactly if she already posted the picture she doesn't have to explain herself. She isn't even obligated to repost anything. This could have been a situation that she could have ignored from the beginning. Exactly. But JT gets bothered by little things and she's always responding to everything. And this is why some people are turned off by JT because she just doesn't know how to handle fame. And I do find it very interesting that she's now bothered by what people say about her because she was the very same person who was dragging other celebrities on Twitter when she was unknown. And I mean, she was dragging everybody. Everybody. And now that she's getting dragged, she's getting mad. And she made a slew of super problematic tweets. And I never really talked about this, but she was making a lot of wild statements. 
But now that she's famous, she can't take the heat. Did she just say, did you guys see what I just saw? I want to get what by, wow. She can't even take a little bit of criticism. But I think at this point, she needs to learn how to deal with it because if she continues to react this way, she's going to turn more people off and she's going to bring the City Girls brand down even further. But this is like the prime example of not everybody needs to be famous. Not everybody needs to be known. Not everybody can handle fame. Because, like, you want to be up there, but you can't handle the heat that comes with it. It's like us being on, on here on YouTube when you get, like, mean comments, right? You don't reply to all of them. Sometimes you just delete them. You keep it pushing, right? Or you block the user. That's it. You ain't got to explain yourself all the time, right? So it's the same thing. Not everybody can get the heat or take the heat. Well, just don't be part of that um, community if you can't do that, you know? People have already Simple. expressed that they don't care for JT's attitude. Mm -hmm. A lot of people like her group member, Young Miami, better. And Young Miami can't rap as well as JT, mm -hmm. but she does a better job at handling fame. Even though she sometimes has her moments, she does ignore the negativity for the most part, and she also interacts with her fans. So Young Miami doesn't get bothered by every little thing. However, JT does, and she really has to change that. Yep. Anyway, tell what y'all think about this video down below. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and share this video if you care. Thank you so much for watching. Yes, guys, let me know what you guys think about this video. Let me, let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think Cardi B is having a second baby coming up? Do you guys think uh, Megan Thee Stallion, you know, um, new, the, her new song that's coming up, do you guys think it's going to be fire? Despite the fact that she's going to be talking about the same thing. And what about JT and the fan? Do you guys think what she did was okay? Do you guys feel as though that fan should never come for her? Like, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section down below. I want to know what you guys think. Please don't forget to subscribe once again. It is free. And also follow me on my social media platforms, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and TikTok. The links will be in the description box down below for your convenience. And I'll catch you guys on my next one. Bye, guys.